Duchess of Cambridge visited farms for city children in Arlingham, Gloucester on Wednesday. The Duchess of Cambridge has a menagerie of animals at home, she revealed today, including five chickens and an incubator full of eggs. Kate chatted with children from Vauxhall Primary School about the creatures she has at home in Norfolk on her visit to Whitcourt, a Farms for City Children project in Gloucestershire. She and William already have a dog, Lupo, while her children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, have a hamster called Marvin. Kate also bonded with Sayana, nine, who speaks Spanish, and told her that her own children were learning it too, with George already able to count up to ten. She said she is trying to teach Charlotte Spanish and said her son George can count up to ten in Spanish already, revealed Sayana. According to stockman Dave Vansinea, 50, who has worked at Whitcourt for eight years, the Duchess has a huge passion for chickens and provided hugely knowledgeable about them when invited to clean the farm's resident hens out. She has got several cuckoo marins at home, she told me. She said she had cleaned out a few chicken sheds in her time, he recalled afterwards. She also told me and the children that she has an incubator of eggs at home at the moment with a hope that they are going to hatch into chicks. Her children are very excited. Kate also bonded with Sayana, nine, who speaks Spanish, and told her that her own children were learning it too, with George already able to count up to ten. She said she is trying to teach Charlotte Spanish and said her son George can count up to ten in Spanish already, revealed Sayana. We've also told her how we found all the cameras a bit strange, but she said, although it was weird she had got used to it. Rihanna 10 chatted to the Duchess at length and said afterwards. She said she had lots of animals at home, a dog, a hamster, a lamb and her chickens. She said she also had lots of eggs in an incubator and they were hoping they would hatch into chicks. Her teacher Nicole Preston explained. The incubator is relatively new and she doesn't know if it is going to work. She says it takes 21 days, but George and Charlotte are so excited that they come down each morning and peer inside to see if anything has happened. Rihanna added. She told us about her chickens and the sounds they made and said they were quite noisy. She said she has loads of animals at home. Another teacher, Natalie Graham, explained that the children had given a birthday card they had made for Princess Charlotte, who turned two yesterday, and a toy Paddington bear. Miss Graham said. She told them that they had a little party for Charlotte yesterday and she sung happy birthday to herself. It was so sweet. She loved the card and present and said Charlotte would love it too as the card had Peppa Pig on, which she loves. Kate also got the chance to feed Stinky, a hand-reared lamb that is a great favorite of the children that visit the farm, although she may not have realized that the affectionate creature will be sent to the abattoir in six months' time. Edison David head teacher at Vauxhall, also admitted Kate had displayed a surprising talent during her visit when she went to help weigh some of the pigs. She was pushing the pig's bum with her bare hands, he said. It was just to move the pig along. It was second nature to her. John Goodman, farm manager, added. Some people are very aloof with pigs. I didn't know if she was one. But she was very natural, she blended in very quickly. Anticipating a rather hands-on day Her Royal Highness dressed down in a pair of skinny jeans from Zara and a pair of tasseled boots that she has worn for no less than 13 years. Kate was first spotted 475 pounds brown boots with a tasseled detail on the zip at the game fair at Blenheim Palace in August 2004 and they have remained a staple in the royal's wardrobe. Not long after arriving the Duchess could be seen removing her jacket from Troy, London, to reveal a navy blue sweater with a gingham collar poking from the neckline. According to a spokesman for the charity, whose patron is Princess Anne, Kate read about its work in country life and approached them to see if she could come down to one of its farms. The Duchess and the children met with children's author Michael Morpurgo and his wife Claire to learn more about the charity they founded in 1976. They were treated to a very special story time as Morpurgo read to them around a campfire. The Duchess was quite prepared to get her hands dirty this afternoon mucking in when it came to onion and marigold planting on the farm. Farms for City Children offers youngsters from all over the country a unique opportunity to live and work together for a week at a time on a real farm in the heart of the countryside. It is an intense, learning through doing experience of a different life for children who may not know where their food comes from and have limited opportunities to explore the outside world.
The organization now has three working farms, where it welcomes around 3,200 children and 400 teachers a year. During the week-long immersion program, pupils gain an understanding farming, the countryside and food production, using practical, hands-on learning outside the classroom to enhancing the requirements of the national curriculum. They also gain social and emotional development through teamwork and the chance to celebrate success and build self-worth through work and the completion of tasks. The Duchess will start her visit with a briefing about the farm before joining a story time session led by Michael Morpurgo. A key aim of the week is to draw on the farm experience and the charity's literary heritage to promote literacy and storytelling. Kate will then join the children as they complete work around the farmyard, working in the allotments and tending to pigs, sheep, and chickens as required. It is even believed she may try her hand at pig weighing, ignoring the old adage, never work with children and animals. The visit will conclude later with a short tea party, where Her Royal Highness will meet some of the volunteers, staff and trustees. Yesterday saw the Cambridges celebrate their daughter's second birthday at their home in Norfolk. Charlotte's birthday was expected to be a low-key affair, a small party at Anmer Hall with a few close family friends, along with Kate's parents Michael and Carol Middleton.